Put him in the dirt Say it again, man, and that's a reverse Never rehearse, jump in it first Call up the nurse, put the beat in the hearse uh, This is absurd, take the berserk Don't get on the tracks, man, and they better swerve Don't got a nerve, man, I never sing, you a, sing you a song about drop shipping I'm just kidding, I don't even know how to play this thing So, uh yeah, I bought this pretty much for no reason. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, uh, one of these days, I'm going to make time to sit down and teach myself how to play the guitar. And until then, it was just a prop. Let's talk about ad budgets, okay, and how they affect an ad, that performance of an ad set. A lot of people don't understand. Uh, I, I get this question all the time, like, what's the best budget to start an ad with? What's, you know... Whatever, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, hundred dollars. Like where, you know, people want to know what I'm doing with my ad sets, what budget I'm using. At least I'm giving you guys good knowledge, right? Like I'm not really good at making these videos, but at least what I'm telling you is useful. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, Facebook ads, yes, budgets. Um, the best way to look at this is that. Money equals speed, okay? So the, the higher your budget, the faster your ad is gonna be delivered, which means the faster you're gonna get results. So uh, I, I, I explain it like this in my course, um, and I'm not gonna give like the specifics of exactly how I structure everything because that's what I put the course out there for, but I can at least touch on the theory here um, for my YouTube uh, subscribers. So the way I look at an ad set is that it's uh, a circus guy walking on a tightrope, okay? And the higher you set your budget, the faster that guy has to walk. The faster that guy has to walk, the more likely he is to fall off. But the faster you can get him to walk, the more money you will make. So it's risk reward, right? Um, starting budgets off at you know twenty dollars, ten dollars, five dollars, all of it's safe, all of it's fine. But the how steady that guy is on the rope is going to change based on how much you spend. So. An ad set that is running at $5 a day generally will, over a long course of time, pull a better ROAS than an ad set running at $20 a day because it's going slower. But because it's going slower, you're never going to be able to train your ad account. If you, if you think, so there's a lot of people that run low budget theory, they, they say run tons of low budget ad sets. Um, to me, it's that's more like gambling than it is actually efficiently running an ad account. I think that high budgets are the way to go, um, but you have to train your ad account to run with high budgets. You know, the only way to do that is to actually push the ad sets as hard as they can, and that means you're going to risk knocking the guy off the rope. It means you're going to risk screwing up the optimization, and when that happens, you just you slow it down. You take the budget back. Um, and uh, let the guy get back on the rope. That's the way I see these ad sets. That's how they perform in my mind, and that is the way that it does work in my humble opinion. So budgets only determine the speed at which the data is being delivered, but it also slightly decreases the performance the higher you go. So cost per purchase on a successful or profitable ad set, a winning product, cost per purchase is going to be higher at a higher budget. Okay, and so people think, oh, well, let's run, um, let's run low budgets because we want to have a lower cost per purchase. Well, it's not all about having a low cost per purchase. It's about how much money goes into your bank account at the end of the day. And I'd much rather make 20% on a million dollars than 30% on 200,000. Okay, so just because my margin is smaller doesn't mean I'm making less money. I'm operating on a larger scale. And I'm also controlling the data. I'm bossing people around. They can't get in on my niche. They can't steal my products because I'm running $1,000 a day budgets. I'm running $5,000 a day budgets. They can't knock me off because I'm controlling the data. My tightrope walker is much more talented than yours because I took the time to train him to run fast. Um, 
And I pushed him, I was willing to take that risk and I found the guy that could do it, right? So that's, that's the way all this works in my mind. Uh, I already feel like I gave you guys a little too much information there, but uh, <laughs> I'm running out of stuff to talk about in my 30 day video, my 30 videos in 30 days. I'm honestly like trying to figure out what I'm gonna talk about in the next four videos. So anyways, that's it. That's how ad sets, that's how budgets work, guys. It's money equals speed. Um, you know, if, if you want to test an ad set, like you're going to have to spend a certain amount of money to know whether or not it works. And you can either test that in one day with a larger budget, or you can test that over the course of six or seven days with a smaller budget. It's, you know, it's up to you. It's personal preference. I like to move fast. That's the way we do it. So, uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video if I can think of something else to talk about. Yeah.